Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Better Life Reviews. Now today we're gonna check out this North Coyote Cooler Backpack. And as you might have guessed, this is a cooler and also a backpack. So it's really great for hiking, for camping, for the beach, for the pool, all that kind of stuff. Holds a ton of things and it comes in at a really excellent value. Now speaking of great values, we also have a newly redesigned website over at betterlifereviews.com. And there I work with retailers like Amazon, eBay, Walmart, Best Buy, Roadrunner Sports, and lots of other companies as well. So I'm gonna take all those excellent deals, go through those on a daily basis, and put them in one spot for you guys to find the best deals, as well as having written reviews as well. So make sure you check it out. Let's get into the review. All right guys, so this backpack currently comes in at only $35 on Amazon. If you wanna check it out, links are in the description below. Now this is made of a 600D water resistant polyester fabric that's also very durable. It has a 17 liter collapsible cooler on the bottom. It has a 25 liter collapsible upper compartment for all your other stuff. And it has lots of other features as well. This is really great, you know, think about carrying you know, a large bag and you're trying to carry it in this hand, you're carrying another cooler on this hand, you're trying to deal with your kid maybe, you're trying to lock your car, um, all that kind of stuff. So you can, well, you can just put all those things into one thing, throw it on your back, and it's worked out really excellent for me as well. So that's some other really cool features too to make it comfortable. So it actually this is made for hiking, um, so you know it's gonna be comfortable. So back here it has these padded straps for your back. Then it also has padding here, lots of nice thick padding. It has more padding here in the bottom. Then it has a padded waist strap to really hook it around your waist and cinch it up and then take a lot of that pressure off of your shoulders. And it also has this nice chest strap here as well, which is adjustable up and down and tightening as well to make it really nice and secure on your back. Then on the side, the apartment for a water bottle. Um, so it fit a pretty large water bottle in there, that netting. And on the front, you have several compartments as well. So you have a large upper compartment. You have a compartment here as well for storage. And there's one on the side as well. So on the top here, you actually, I could fit a lot more stuff than I have really. But for instance, I have a pair of headphones in there. I have actually another pair of headphones. I have uh, this power bank, which is awesome. I'm going to link this down below as well. It does quick charge 3.0. And also a cable. So you can fit lots of stuff in there. And then when you open up here, you have straps to cinch everything down and keep it nice and secure, which is an excellent idea. This wraps around as well to help with the water resistance and keep everything covered on top. And then on the inside, you know, I'm not normally a fan of this kind of thing, but in this situation, you know, think about what you're carrying, like camping stuff or stuff at the pool and all that. It has this cinch shack design, which I think is really excellent for kind of keeping everything nice and compact. And also it will collapse then to be the size of the compartment that you want. So if you want to bring a lot of stuff, it's going to be bigger. If you want to bring less stuff, it's going to be smaller. And then down here, we have another compartment here as well. So for instance, like I have a hat in here, a pair of gloves. So it's a pretty large size. The one on the top here is the largest size, but this is also pretty big too. And then inside as well, there's like a netting material. So it's kind of divided. So since I have a uh, you know, tripod here that I use for my cell phone, I'll link this down below as well. And uh, like a cell phone hol holder, oops, sorry. And then I have over here, for instance, just some sunscreen for my kid. And that's all that. So you have all that storage there just kind of on the exterior of the bag. Then if you go down to the bottom here, you have this cooler that opens up. And the cooler has a nice, uh, it's a little hard with that bottle there, but a nice zipper. Now the zipper that it has is fine. I haven't had any problems. Um, it does feel maybe not as durable as I would like it to be, but again, it's a $35 backpack and I've had no problems. So this compartment here is lined on the top and also interiorly as well. Um, it can hold lots of stuff. So I'm gonna throw some pictures up now. Currently here in, a, in here I have three bottles of water, two bottles of Deer Park, three Gatorades, and three cans. Um, so it can hold a lot of stuff. So I also took this bag out camping as well and it worked really excellent for that, kind of like a camping beach style environment. And there I had 10 cans, three bottles of water, the two ice packs that are included, and I still had a little extra room as well in the cooler. So the cooler is a pretty decent size. I'm um, gonna actually will fit these kind of 16 or 16.9 ounce bottles as well. So it's fairly tall, you know, it's not just as tall as a can, it's actually gonna be taller than that as well. Um, the ice packs they include, I wasn't really crazy about these initially. Um, I thought they were kind of cheap, but actually now that I see that they, um, you fill them up with water and then you snap this lid on top, 
And once you do that, you snap it in place really well and it actually stays really secure. Um, and these actually work better than like a gel type pack. Uh, I had some of those as well and I tried to test them both out. Um, the gel packs definitely last, you know, less time as far as keeping things cold. So these two packs here will keep this cold, the stuff inside for I'd say about four to eight hours, depending on your environment. So it's not, you know, a multi-day cooler kind of thing. Um, of course, the more ice you put in here, the better it's gonna be. You could use ice cubes, it is lined, but I mean, it's not gonna be the best environment to have this, you know, full of water. It could potentially leak in that environment if it's really full of water. Um, so I'd recommend getting, you know, keeping these ice packs here, maybe getting some extra ice packs as well. So that is the bottom compartment, lots of storage there. Then up top, it also stores a ton of stuff. So also when I went camping again, I took um, like two towels and three sets of clothes. Um, one set of clothes for me, one set for my wife, and one set for my son as well, and all that fit into one compartment. So for instance, up here now I have, let's see, you know, this is like three pairs of shorts, another one, two, three pairs of shorts there as well. Another pair of shorts. That's like eight or nine, I think right now we're up to. And a, you know, a decent sized jacket in there as well. And it all fits in this top compartment. And even then I had some extra room as well. So, I mean, it is a really, you know, big compartment. Additionally, on the inside, there is another zippered pocket that's pretty large as well. Um, you can put like, you know, keys, cell phones, that kind of stuff. If you don't want it to be on the outside of the bag, you can put it in there to be even more secure. I mean, it has a pretty firm base as well to divide it from that cooler in the bottom. So it's a really excellent bag, a ton of features. Um, you know, it's really just useful. All right, so in summation, this is an excellent cooler backpack for, you know, for your daily kind of stuff. Now, if you're going out on the Appalachian Trail and you're hiking, you know, for multi-day and that kind of stuff, clearly this isn't for that. You know, it doesn't have an internal frame. It may not stand up for that kind of abuse, um, but for like day hikes, to the pool, to the beach, camping, um, just to keep all your stuff in one spot, you know, soccer games even, that kind of stuff, um, a date with your significant other, bringing some lunch along on a hike, excellent for that kind of stuff, definitely. If you guys want to check it out, like I said, links are in the description. And uh, if you do want to check out more videos like this as well, make sure to click subscribe, smash that bell, and I'll see you next time.